Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of G.I. Joe Fanatics. In this one, of course, we have another unboxing again. And this is the one that I mentioned in a previous video. This is the uh, the big box here that we got uh, a few days ago. So, if you, uh, the person that sent me this, uh, sorry it took me a few uh, days to get to your video because we had a few uh, ones uh, ahead of that. But uh, for this one, we're going to be uh, getting into this one right here. And there's three items in this one right here. Um, we have a uh, G.I. Joe uh, Mercury Astronaut and we have a uh, Collector Edition, uh, I believe of the 1960 Joe in here and then we have a 1966 uh, Space Capsule. So uh, let's just get the box set up here. Oh, and I had to retape the box because uh, somehow it got kind of messed up. I guess it got wet or something like that in the shipping. And uh, the mail carrier, this isn't the, sh this isn't the shipper's fault at all, but the mail carrier, um, I guess for some, some reason, wanted to check it or something like that, and they cut it. And I just put some clear tape on the side, and they taped it, they taped it up. So, I mean, I can tell that this wasn't the... Uh, original tape that they normally use they normally use clear tape but they just I guess they just wanted to check the item for some reason like that totally not the seller's fault uh, it's 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 cool with me uh, have not opened up anything in here yet at all um, I, I know it's in here I just haven't opened it up yet so uh, we got the knife here uh, before we open it up again uh, the seller of this is I'm game 61 so huge shout out to uh, I'm Game 61 for sending me this and uh, working with me on the price because uh, the 1966 space capsule in here, I've seen them go for uh, quite a bit and this was a bid so I was lucky to get it for a decent price. I uh, had a few other people comp uh, competition as far as getting this so if you do see a 1966 uh, space capsule, make sure to get, I mean grab it up if you're if that's what you're into because I'm also, uh, also into rockets and stuff like that so this is kind of a plus plus for my personal hobbies so. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I don't like to take too, too much time in these intros, so uh, let's get to it. Let's just get this thing open. And again, that seller is I'm Game 61 A uh, huge shout out. Appreciate the, the awesome uh, deal you got for me here. Um, let's just sit this right here, and I'm actually going to sit this in the floor so we can get you a better uh, close-up. Or we can just sit it right here. How about that? I'm just going to grab the first item that I see. Awesome, great packaging. And this is more of a lot. We're, we're just going to classify this as a lot. Awesome, a box within a box. Oh, okay, tape coming down there. Alright, let's get this big box out of the way so we can uh, see what we got here um, okay that's the space cap so we'll do that we'll, we'll do that last alright uh, looks looks as if uh, we got this guy here wow it's got some weight to it actually so let's get this uh, bubble wrap off this this is the uh, Masterpiece edition. Uh, looks like a 1960s uh, Joe. Uh, more likely a, a 1996 or 98 remake of a 60s Joe, but uh, we'll definitely have to look into that. Get this packaging off here. They really got this bubble wrap on there on this one. Uh, we're gonna have to cut this. Be very careful with it. Cut that tape off right there. Okay, do we got it? Nope, just a little piece right here.
they really take this up. I mean that's I mean that that ain't complaining. That's a that's a good thing. Okay, we have the G.I. Joe Action Soldier Masterpiece Edition Deluxe Box and Original Again reproduction of 1964 Joe. There is your front side of your box here. Really nice, really, really, really nice. Uh, first glance, first look. Um, I'm not seeing any damage to the box at all. Like this thing looks like it was taken care of. Really new. Nothing wrong with the box at all from the front side. So there's your front side. And we're going to spin it around to the back here. And it looks like uh, it shows you some of the reproductions of uh, the original Joes. You got your Action Soldier, uh, Action Sailor, Action Marine, and Action Pilot. Now these are what you would see. So if you grew up in the 60s, you if you had some Joes, you probably had some of these guys right here. And back then they would come in a little square uh, box, about three by twelve box that they would come in here. Okay, uh, just want to read really quick on the back here. Uh, it comes with a book as well. That's really nice. It says a visual history of a GI Joe with creator Dom Levine and the team who crafted a legend by. John Mitch Billy, I think is what that is. The book, a colorful, detailed history of creation of the Joe, G.I. Joe. Top secret details never before revealed. Behind the scenes interviews with the man himself. And other G.I. Joe designers, sculpture, sculptors, engineers, artists. Over a hundred full color photographs and illustrations many never before revealed. The action figure reproduced from the original 1964 G.I. Joe from the private collection uh, engineered and manufactured with all 21 movable parts just like the original and another thing about the originals uh, as far as the articulate parts where the hands and stuff would move um, two things that I've noticed that you'll notice right off the bat this is before they put abs or anything on them or anything like that and the limbs on the internal case of the uh, like the chest cavity and the legs and the arms and shoulders, they were actually attached by kind of a string, like a kind of a rubber band slash uh, rope type material, kind of like an elastic rope type material, instead of uh, hard plastic with uh, the joints that would have a plate inside of the plastic to where they could pivot and move around. Uh, it was all attached by strings, so if one of those strings broke or rotted for some reason or uh, rough playing, of course, it would break off and then it would kind of be hard to reattach an arm. Unlike a newer one that you can just uh, sometimes glue some parts back together. But other than that, let's just open up the box and get a really nice view. Um, it pretty much reads the same stuff on the inside here as it does on the back. It's kind of giving you a backstory. There's the book right off the bat. That's nice. That's really nice. I like the book. Looks like it has some some stuff in there, like uh, uh, photographs. I had a book like this a long time ago, but I never had this particular book. So that's really cool. It's got a really nice up close picture of the original 64 Joe. And I just want to take a quick look at his hands because, yep, okay, so something else you'll notice on a Joe, it's usually on their left hand, uh, their thumb is actually backwards for some reason. I don't know if that's, I believe that's a way to tell that uh, instead of like a reproduction or whatever, like if, uh, if it was a non-Hasbro, I believe that's how they were able to... Uh, to keep from copywriting or at least to uh, you know let people know that like hey uh, that's not you know that's not our uh, Joe right there that would be a, a remake or a, a copyright uh, copyright reasons and this is uh, pretty loose and I can actually open this without damaging the box too much so um, we'll do 
a separate review of the unboxing of these. I just wanted to kind of show you the the internal package and all that before we do that. We'll do a separate video of uh, actually getting this stuff out, but of course replacing it back in for uh, display reasons. Of course, I like to keep everything in my package in the package. Uh, certain things that's out of the package can be played with or displayed or uh, put into a uh, kind of like a stop motion movie. Uh, we, we, we will remove him and the book for a separate video as to where we can look into the book and kind of look into some of the pages and then remove the figure. But let's get one quick view. Of the, uh, oh, well, the book fell out. Totally cool. I didn't know it was sitting in there like that. But that's cool. That's totally cool. Um, got him in there like that. And that works. I mean, that works right there. That's really cool. It's got the original Joe right there. That's that's really classic and yes he does have the backwards thumb again like I say so quality of the box on this one absolutely 10 out of 10 uh, clothes ever, ever, ever this whole package right here as far as this one right here is absolutely 10 out of 10 uh, that is your GI Joe action soldier so let's just sit him down right here and grab this guy with the box here Sit him right here, and I'm gonna get a hold for one moment, guys. I'm actually gonna get my other Exacto knife because I don't want to damage the box on this one at all either. I don't want to use my uh, box cutter. I'll use an uh, an Exacto blade. And I went ahead and grabbed my uh, my charging cord here because we don't want to have our device die here while we're doing this. So let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, we're good. All right, let's get this guy open. And yes, guys, I apologize for having to do this off my phone. Uh, I hang up my my cameras. Uh, Stop working for some reason, so we grab the exact knife here so we don't mess up the package. We might be able to not, we may be able to slide this one off. Nope, we gotta cut it. And all right, that one, that one's a lot easier than the other one. So here we have the Mercury astronaut. Now, uh, I did purchase a. Uh, shuttle astronaut uh, a while back. Now I have a whole uh, space theme uh, for GI Joes. I have a shuttle astronaut. As far as my collection, I have a shuttle astronaut. Uh, now, thank thank God, awesomely, I have a uh, Mercury astronaut. I have a Buzz Aldrin. I have a Sally Ride, and I have a uh, Apollo 13 uh, from the movie and a cheaper regular uh, astronaut so I kinda have a, collect, uh, a collection of those as well so that's really cool there's the front of the box and this again this is the uh, collector uh, classic collection um, this is my uh, shuttle astronaut um, just give you a quick little look at him real quick gives you a story on the on the uh, the velcro right there there's your uh, shuttle uh, astronaut there uh, we'll do a whole uh, whole other video on just showing you uh, just my space theme collection before I go into my military collection but to sit him right there and let's get into the newest one and actually it actually shows him right here on the back it shows you a, a couple of them uh, different ones on the back so all right guys this is the one I've really been waiting for let's get into it oh it does have it it was just tucked in okay we're good it was just tucked in. It does have the story on the inside. It was tucked in like that. Alright. That is nice. That is nice. 
And it does have his NASA symbol on there, and he does have his mirror. I've seen some of these sell out of the box, and the mirror and the hose is just missing, and it just really incompletes the uh, the figure itself. But that is nice. So if you're looking to get a uh, Mercury astronaut, that's what you'll be looking at. Uh, I recommend recommend getting it if you're into space theme like me as well, because that's 10 out of 10 right there. Uh, this is the Mercury. Seven astronaut, so it's not the uh, Mercury Redstone, but it's the uh, Mercury Seven. To see if we have a name here, I forget his name. Mercury Seven flight achievements. Uh, the first Mercury free, uh, space capsule Freedom Seven. I knew that would be Alan Shepard. And this is the Mercury Seven. So let's see if we can find. Is that Faith 7? I believe that's Faith 7. Gordon Cooper. I believe this might be a Gordon Cooper here. Um, National Space Agency. Da, da, da. Yes, uh, this is uh, appears to be a Gordon Cooper. So, I may be wrong on this. I may be wrong on this, but uh, it's it's not Alan Shepard, but it might. It uh, it's Gordon Cooper here. He's got his oxygen box right there, and a lot of people are wondering if that's like an old. Uh, a lot of some of the Joe uh, accessories. It looks like a button that you can press, and it can make sound. Um, far as I can see, it doesn't have like a little button press to make sound. I think that's just a to make it look uh, realistic there so it doesn't create any sound but still really cool as this oxygen box that they would carry uh, after they were suited up they would disconnect from the uh, the big uh, pumps that they'd be sitting kind of in the waiting room and then when they were going from the transporting from the building to the van to the craft itself before they were hooked up with the uh, oxygen inside of there they would have to um, carry a box uh, there with them so they would be able to breathe because their suits themselves were a lot bulkier and really hot and uh, required oxygen uh, while they were doing that. Usually sometimes some modern ones uh, don't have their helmets on until they get into the uh, shaft of the, uh, uh, the uh, tower to go up to the rocket. So. But you gotta think this was in like 1957. Or, excuse me, 1958, 59, uh, 60, I believe, because, 19, yeah. So, let's see here. Does it say? He doesn't have many accessories, but, I mean, he's he's the figure himself, so that's really cool. Really nice. 10 out of 10 on this guy right here. He's brand new, so you cannot beat that at all. So, if you see this figure right here, I would definitely, uh, Definitely recommend purchasing, especially if you're in space theme. And these are from 1997, I believe. And again, uh, GI Joe Classic Collection has had a ton of releases during that year. It was kind of like the peak year uh, for GI Joes then, because they were just coming out with all types of different, uh, all types of different ones, like the shuttle theme, the. Uh, I think the 45th year anniversary instead of the 50th anniversary of G.I. Joe. And how can you tell this is an original classic collection? Because they would usually have a label right here that'll tell you that. And this is the. And they had they had a whole thing of classic collection, but they had to label it just because, like I said, they had a lot of them. They would label it right here uh, what uh, category it would be, you know, as far as uh, the mass production of. The classic collection and classic collection uh, featured all types of different Joes, not just space theme, but uh, a few different eras from a few different wars. And that year, they also come down with the modern uh, Joe. So, uh, 1998 from 1996 to 1998, they um, they had a different. Uh, they had a whole change of uh, features on the Joe. They added a. Uh, different moving parts on their hands and stuff like that instead of just being a hand clamp so 
definitely really cool guys 10 out of 10 if you find one highly recommend getting it that'll be a great addition to my uh, to my collection there for my space theme all right guys where is the other box we have here because this is this is something that I've looked for and I've honestly dreamed of having for a really really long time this is the 19. 66 Hasbro G.I. Joe Space Shuttle. And they really rub bubble wrap this thing. <laughs> wow. This is just awesome. <laughs> oh, wow, dude. That is something else, man. <laughs> wow, that is something else. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to. I'm gonna show you here in just a second. I'm just kind of like in awe right here because this is like wow. I'm like a kid again. Okay, let's close it. Let's close it back and then we'll reopen it. Does this come off? I'm not really sure. Looks like it might be missing. Just a little piece right there. Alright, no it's not. No it's not. No it's not. I thought it was. Okay. Wow. This is just... <laughs> and it's really lightweight too, so... Okay, so first off, there's your... If you're wondering how big these are, because in the pictures they kind of look a little bit different. So, uh, uh, they're a lot bigger than you think. Um, there, That's about the... Uh, about the size of it. There's the end. There's my hand. So bigger than my hand here. I mean, I got small hand. But, uh, just just about a little bit bigger than my hand there. Uh, for wide to wide. Uh, on the side of it here, it's got some really realistic stickers: United States and the American flag. On top here, it's got the uh, GI Joe uh, by Hasbro, and then it's got your uh, 1966 uh, Hasbro dating right here, and it's got your. Uh, your panels for like your your breathers and your aerodynamics right there and uh, best way to describe this slider uh, if you've ever seen those things at a bank that they suck up in a tube it's uh, it's really like that it slides really easy and it tucks it seems to huh, does it okay so it tucks around the inside you can see in the inside Tucks in there. We got some straps and his control panel. Uh, I'll read. I'll read a few of these. And if you buy one of these, uh, there is a seller on eBay that sells uh, custom stickers to replace any of this. If anything's wrong with it, uh, I'm gonna leave this one original as possible. Uh, it's got some control panels there. Here, that is really nice. He's got a seat belt. It looks like. Um, And he's got his gimbal sticker there. That look could look like it may have came off during shipping, but we can glue that in. No problem at all. And if any if anything, we can order another sticker. But I want to leave this absolutely as original as possible. There's your back panel where a guy would sit in there. Sorry about the lighting. Head would go there. I don't know if we have any loose Joes. We do not have any loose Joes. Uh actually. Let me check this out. We might. I want to see something here. I don't know if this guy will fit, but we will surely give it a go because I know if he doesn't fit, Sally Ride will. Using Apollo 13 guy here. If, like I said, if he doesn't fit, then that's fine. We can kind of work him in there a little bit. This is a bigger figure, so I think we may have to use a different figure here because, well, uh, no we don't. We just had to get him in there a little bit. All right, there's an, uh, I have his helmet and all that stuff uh, for this guy. I have all his gear for this figure itself, but I just had to grab him to throw him in there. I got his oxygen tank and everything, but... That's a 12-inch uh, figure uh, sitting in there. 
and that adds a little bit of weight to it, but other than that, that's still uh, really cool. So, if we ever attached this to a uh, a Pro Series rocket, we'd have to use some pretty big Fairly engines to launch it, but uh, that would still be really cool to see how a space capsule go up like that, so. Alright. Now, I believe we can go to there, so if you want to get an inside look, uh, it's clear on the top. Uh, some of these, uh, I don't know if I've, I don't know if they're always clear or not. I may have seen some that look kind of bluish up here, but this is clear, so it gives you a really good internal view of the guy. And the way he would be sitting in there is if it would actually be in space, so it would, it would uh, be in there like so. That's really cool. Uh, see these around anywhere? Recommend getting them absolutely 10 out of 10 right here. Uh, great quality. I mean, it is uh, over 50 years old, so for it being that old, definitely 10 out of 10 on that. Great quality. Uh, very little scratches on it at all. I mean, you're going to get that. I mean, this, like I said, this thing's over 50 years old. So, And the glass. I've seen people sell these with the glass broken out and everything. Try to sell them like that, and that just really decreases the value. But this one right here has the original glass. Uh, slides really easy once you get the guy in there. Now, as far as removing the guy... And this is a bigger guy. He's got really big, bulky boots, so that's another thing. Okay, we got him out. Looks like we got some external room in there. Oh yeah, that's some that's that's wonderful right there. Give you one good look at the uh, the inside. It does got some control panels uh, on the inside, and give you a downward view if we can here.